This is a dynamo electric generator, designed by Nikola Tesla. The interesting thing about this machine is that, it has field magnets present at its sides, and not at its center, as compared to this previous design of Nikola Tesla. Can you tell me the reason for this? Also, this design of the dynamo electric generator has several advantages, which we will be discussing in this video. So, let us begin our journey. One day, when Nikola Tesla was working in his lab, one of his friends came and told Nikola Tesla about the problems he was facing while using his machine. Hi, Mr. Tesla. Hello, my friend. Mr. Tesla, I want to highlight some of the problems which I am facing while using this model of dynamo electric machine, which you gave me last year. Yes, my dear friend, please tell me. Mr. Tesla, first problem I am facing is that your dynamo electric machine is very big. So it is very difficult for me to transport this dynamo electric machine to the desired locations for my work. The second problem, which I am facing is that your dynamo electric machine has too many parts, so it is very difficult for me to maintain each part. The third problem, which I am facing is that the shaft of your dynamo electric machine gets heated up quickly and its temperature rises quite high, due to which many problems arise. Sometimes bearings get damaged. Sometimes the belt that is attached to the shaft gets damaged and sometimes the insulation layer present on the armature coil wires burns away. Mr. Tesla, can you provide solutions to these problems? Okay, my friend. Please, give me some time. I will try to find the solutions to these problems. Sure, Mr. Tesla. Nikola Tesla thought for some days, and then, he came up with a new design of dynamo electric machine. He then turned his new design idea into reality and made this new type of dynamo electric machine. After some days, his friend again visited Nikola Tesla's lab. Mr. Tesla, I hope you have solved my problem. Yes, my friend. Here is the new dynamo electric machine designed by me. Mr. Tesla, please explain to me the design and working of this new dynamo electric machine. And please also tell me how it is different from the previous design of the dynamo electric machine. Okay, my friend. See here the field magnet and the frame are made in two different parts, which are identical in size and shape. In each part, there is a solid plate from which these cores project inwards. Now, the wires of the field magnets are wound in such a way that concerning any particular pole, there is always an opposite pole adjacent to it. Suppose, we have a south pole on this lower left projection, then there should be a north pole on the lower right projection, and there should be a north pole on this upper left projection. Then there are sidebars on both sides of this frame. These sidebars have less width at the center compared to the edges. Bearing spaces for the armature shaft are carved in these edges. The lower part of this casting is secured to a suitable base. Then, the armature is mounted on the lower casting with the help of the shaft and then the other part of the frame and the field magnet are placed over it and it is secured with the help of dowel pins. Now my friend, let me show you how this new dynamo electric machine is different from the previous one and how it will solve your problems. In the first type of generator, I used large pieces of permanent magnets in order to get a strong magnetic field, but here I have used electromagnets. These electromagnets are small in size, but can generate the same amount of magnetic field. So, this new type of machine is compact compared to the previous one, and now you can easily transport this dynamo electric machine to your desired location. So, your first problem has been solved. My friend, here you can see that there are no unnecessary projections to hold the shaft, there are no unnecessary stands to hold the field magnets. Here the field magnets and the stand both are present in these two parts only. 
Since my new design has fewer parts, compared to this previous design, therefore it involves less trouble in maintenance. So, your second problem has been solved. Now my friend, let me show you the magnetic field lines in both of these dynamo electric machines. In the first machine, you can see the armature shaft cutting the magnetic field lines. So, an eddy current will be generated in the shaft, which heats the shaft quickly. But in the second machine, the armature shaft is not cutting the magnetic field lines. Therefore, no eddy current will be generated in the shaft of this new dynamo electric machine, and here the shaft will not heat up. Instead, it will provide some extra surface area for the cooling of the armature by disposing some of the heat into the environment by a process called convection. So, your third problem has also been solved. Okay, Mr. Tesla, I have understood the design and advantages of this new dynamo electric generator. Now please explain to me, the workings of this, new dynamo electric generator. Okay, my friend. This new dynamo electric generator works, exactly in a similar way, as the previous dynamo electric generator. Here, if you will supply an external DC power, to the commutators, then it starts behaving as a DC motor, and the shaft of the motor, starts rotating. It means that, it is converting electrical energy, into mechanical energy. Here, we will use Fleming's left-hand rule, to find the direction of rotation of the shaft. On the other hand, if you will rotate the shaft of this new dynamo electric machine, with the help of gears, then it starts behaving as a generator, and gives a DC output, at these two terminals. It means that, it is converting mechanical energy, into electrical energy. Here, we will use Fleming's right-hand rule, to find the direction of current flow in the circuit. Dear viewers, if you want to know in detail how to use, Fleming's right-hand rule, then kindly watch these videos. Links of these videos, are there in the description. In this way, Nikola Tesla designed us another type of dynamo electric machine. Dear viewer, it takes a lot of effort to make these kind of videos, so please appreciate my work with your likes, and subscribe, and dear viewer, if you want to see more videos of Nikola Tesla's invention, then kindly visit my channel, Science, Engineering, Technology, Simplified.